Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you are new. Hi everyone, it's me, Dan. As you can see, I have gathered a selection of greens from the Black Widow sets um, and Worlds of Wonder by Joanna Basford, which can only mean one thing. It's Sunday afternoon. It is yet again thundering. The rain has just started to come down. It's time to cull some flowers. So I've not touched this page since we last worked on it together. I just need to find it. Here it is. Um, and we're going to be doing the green square. So if you remember last time, I'm gonna zoom us in a little, I hope, in these videos you can see what I'm doing. It's quite difficult because the image is so small and my camera is right above me. Um, so we might just have to play around a little bit. These pencils are going to need sharpening throughout so I do apologise. We're just kind of going to have to go with it. I have started some leaves on this one. I do remember doing this before giving up. <laughs> um, But we're going to colour some green flowers. Now the next section is blue, so we're going to do, did I say two? Two blue flowers, which are going to be these two in the middle. Because what I'm trying to do is just like sort of bring in a bit of a hint. So like here, these three were quite orange, which I didn't really like, but then I thought, oh, I've got an idea. So then we had these two yellow ones, these two little green ones, and then we're going to have two little blue ones and then so on and so on and so on. And it's just kind of like a little thread that runs through each of the pages. Um, so I have my swatch book, have some greens. I hope I've got enough. Um, I'm just looking now thinking of maybe, oh no, that's not okay one actually. We'll start with this toxic green, which is from the um, Black Widow set itself. It's BW104. Um, and I think I'm going to work on this little cluster of flowers here. In fact, I've just remembered we were using the water base markers, weren't we? So I'm just going to see if there's anything on here that I quite like. I feel like this toxic green's quite blue. Yeah. I'm thinking do we go for this fan green and put it over this Pomona green. Let's do that. Because these are quite little flowers, so we're going to struggle. So we need one, two, four. So these are just the Ohuhu water base markers. And I thought this was a brilliant page for using them on because the colour doesn't bleed through. The brush tip is super, super small. So it means flowers like this are quite easy so I mean it's really nice light green anyway so we're on the green square the green represents nature I'm interested to how this one's going to turn out because the leaves are going to be green the flowers are going to be green the background is going to be green so it's going to be an all-round green scene Hopefully it looks good. Um, but we are also going to, I can't remember if I've ever started off this way, but it's going to be a colouring chat because it's been a wild crocodile. So I hope everyone's good. Um, it's Sunday afternoon. I think I've just said that, but I'll say it again. I have 10 school days left, everybody. I am excited. I've just done my colour and planner. Just highlighted when the summer holidays start. The countdown is on. Um, I hope we've all been keeping well. The weather has been atrocious, I would say. Yesterday, 
oh it, well yeah yesterday um i went into town with my sister and nephew um and it was raining before we went but then it was quite nice when we were there we got back they come back to mine and it was it going darker and darker and darker it's about half three and the heavens opened and did not close my backyard which is kind of like stepped so it's like sunken a little bit was completely full it was like a pool i have to say when i woke up this morning and looked outside i was surprised that it was gone um, I'm going to let that just dry because I always find that it's a funny um, it's a funny colour to work with I just realised I wanted to get a green glow out of the dragon set and I, I clearly didn't so one second unless I'm already using that on the leaves and it's downstairs can't remember Um, a horrendous thunder, lightning, the rain was crazy. I'm just going to do a little bit of sharpening. I'm going to try this combo out, I don't know what it'd be like. Um, but this peppermint's quite a nice colour from the Monarch set, so I thought I'd use this. I'd use a really dark one, so they're quite contrasting colours. Um, Hopefully it doesn't look horrendous. So I'll let them flowers dry um, and we're going to work on these ones. And then actually we've only got, these are all going to be the same colour. These are going to be the same colour. And they're going to be blue, so there's not that many. Oh, that's a crumbly one. There's not that many flowers really to do and i'm going to do the background and the leaves off camera and in fact tonight i might just work my way through this trying to get leaves and backgrounds done just to make things a little bit simpler um but yeah so i can't actually remember the last time I did a colouring chat, I'll be honest, don't know what to talk about, but it's been busy, work has been busy, which has then meant that I've been pretty tired and not really in the mood to colour. <laughs> um, but also just struggled to find time to film, so I've had a kind of a bit of a film a thon this morning I'm gonna try this afternoon I'm gonna see how that goes um but I was away in residential for three days can't remember if I've already told you that at the end of June it was brilliant I had such a good time the kids loved it But then was just exhausted, <laughs> to say the least. Um, when we come back, I hope this is view wise is okay. I struggle because the page is so small. Um, this is quite a nice. I'll bring it up to show you, and uh, quite a nice blend. I like it. I'm trying not to do the typical green because the leaves are a, a typical green <laughs> green leaves. Um yeah, so that was really good. Um what else have I done? Oh uh, last weekend I was busy because it was my friend's 
30th so she had a party so we all went there that was really good like a brilliant night out then that left me pretty tired on the Sunday because it was like a really really late night um and then Monday I do tend to film on a Monday now that's bizarre because you're probably thinking but why it's like the first day of the week I'll be honest there's nothing really on the telly so I can bring myself upstairs and just colour away but I decided to go to the gym so I end up going to the gym at like half seven ish Um, that looks rubbish on camera but actually quite nice um, yeah so I went I went to the gym and I think I'm going to do the same tomorrow actually I just did like a sort of steady like cardio really I just put my headphones on I just needed to just do my little thing to be honest um and I felt better for it but I was so tired I was just tired all week it was like a tired a tired tired week and um, I had two strike days last week so I did take the opportunity to just chill really and now we're on the final stretch I'm really looking forward to it. I've got um I've had like quite a nice chill weekend actually. Watched some TV, gamed, coloured. Saw my nephew. I mainly went to the shops this morning. Went for a coffee. It's just been nice. It's just been a nice, nice weekend. Um, I've been playing Final Fantasy 16. Is anyone else playing it? Let me know in the comments. What do you think of it? I was dubious, I'll be honest. Um, because I've waited so long for this game to come out. And I did quite enjoy 15 and all like fans were, were kind of split on it but I am absolutely loving this one. It's just really good. Um so I've I have been playing quite a bit. These work really nice in this book as well, these pencils. They look a bit like rough, but I can just blend that bit out there a little bit better. Should be fine. Um, just having a drink. I've, this is the third video in a row filmed, so in just a bit. A little bit parched. Um, I was going to go fang green, but I think I'm going to go. Mm. The beauty of this is. It's a bit similar, a bit similar.
That's quite nice. We'll go for green grass. Um, so, yeah. So, I've not really been out and about as much. Been to the gym. Um, getting kind of back into the whole Slimming World vibe. <sighs> Trying to be as good as I can. I'm a little bit... Um, leaning a little bit looser with the whole plan of a weekend but yesterday was pretty good I haven't exercised today but it's fine it's not um it's not realistic for me to exercise every day I'm not sure on this one, but we're going to go with it. I do like base in these flowers in the um, the water base markers because then it just it's you don't even really need to do anything to kind of have that blended look. You just taking all the pressure off and leaving the paper. I need to try them really in a book where it's got a bigger space. Because it is the streakiness that I'm not really a fan of, but that looks pretty smooth when I'm looking at it and then it looks really bad on camera. But it's not. It's not bad at all. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm just literally putting the pressure out of the middle of the flower and then taking it off. I really did want to get this finished in June, but never mind. We will persevere and get it done. I mean, once I've done that one, we're over halfway there. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited, guys. Um, so I know, obviously, in America, you guys have the Bath and Body Works. We don't have that here. But obviously, I've heard great things um, about it. And I am obsessed with it. Um bath and shower product let's just let's be honest or a body product anyway got an email available in next which is like a clothing store we have here they sell like homeware and stuff as well and now sell beauty never knew that um and they are like the stockist in the uk so i ordered myself some the other day um i got wakiki beach coconut and i have to say it is the best thing I've ever smelt in my life. Has anybody tried it? It is like a tropical paradise. But anyway, other than that, it gets better in a traffic centre, which is like a big mall like a big shopping center they're opening the shop they're opening a shop on the 21st of july 
So it is safe to say when I finish for the summer holidays, which is the 20th, 21st, because that's the Friday, um, that first week I'm off, I'm going to go and take myself on a little trip so I can go and have a sniff and see. I'm going to purchase. I'm all about fragrance. I love it. I love a house fragrance. Just a big firm believer in like the power of fragrance. Like a smell can like take you back to an event or a time or something. So like this Wakiki Beach coconut this is going to sound ridiculous because i could have just gone and bought the actual thing that i'm going to tell you now but it's like that smell times 20. so when we used to go on holiday not been holiday for a while because of the cat but we will um when we used to go on holiday i used to buy this after sun and it was a malibu after sun body butter and it was called pina coluda And it was like coconut, limey. It was so nice. And it just, I only ever wore it on holiday. So that smell, like, takes me back to like being on holiday, like being by the pool all day, having your shower before you went out for your tea, putting the after sun body butter on and just smelling that like lovely like fresh coconutty lovely smell this is that smell times 20 it is beautiful um honestly i'm fully obsessed i loved it right that's our little flowers there john I'm thinking, do we do these? No, I might do these little ones. I think I'm going to colour this the same as this. But it's just a baby one. I'm going to use that peppermint and green glow, I think. Yes, I'm excited. I'm excited to like kind of, I don't know, I just smell what else they've got. But I just bought the whipped body butter and the shower gel body wash stuff. But I think I need more. But honestly, I have so many like toiletries. It's a bit ridiculous. So I need to use... I've got before I can start adding some more because I'm a bit like pencils just have ridiculous amounts so that's technically not that flower but I kind of like the three together the four together I like that everything's kind of fitting together um I really like that grass blade, but I have a feeling I've used that in my leaf combination. Hi. Oh, good God. Uh, zombie I wanted. Let's go for calm lime. Oh, yeah, let's. That is a nice, bright line colour. So because these are so small like two colours is doing blend fine. Um if it was like a bigger space I'd just want a bit more smoother like a transition. So we'd probably go for three and pick a light and make a dark tone but to be honest we're getting away with 
just having these. Um, I quite like zombie. Let's just have a look. Yeah, that's really nice. Like it. So we'll go with these. I'm just going to have to sharpen. Sorry, guys. But we have very small spaces. So we need a sharp point. Honestly, the rain is ridiculous. I mean, you wouldn't believe it. It's at, like, it has been gloriously sunny, like beautiful. I've wore shorts and t-shirts for work for a good couple of weeks now because it's been that hot. I mean, it's my sports day tomorrow and I'm literally scared. <sighs> That's this. I am kind of, I don't know whether to add in a darker green. Um, I mean, it's shining the light for you, but that might just work. Let me see. I'm liking this page, to be honest, because it is kind of forcing me to come up with colour combinations. Like, I tend to just come up with a green colour combination. The leaves. <laughs> and use it all the time. Um, but obviously, it's kind of making me... Think outside the box a little. So I am using three colours now. I'm just going in. I will tell you what I've used now. I'm actually using that green glow again, but I don't mind because it's going on top of the green. Anyway. So I'm using... The mid tone is zombie, the light tone is calm lime, and the dark is green glow, and they're all from the dragon set. But this calm lime is quite a a yellowy green, so it's quite nice, like contrast. What else have I been doing? Oh, we've been watching. Please let me know in the comments if you've been watching this because it is absolutely brilliant. We've got one episode left that we'll probably watch tonight and I'm a little bit sad that it's come to an end already and we fully rationed it because we didn't want it to end. But has anybody watched Poker Face with Natasha Leon? It's absolutely brilliant. I won't kind of spoil anything, but if you like a murder mystery, murder solving show, this is the one. Um, I don't know if it's written by or directed by the same person. For the life of me, I can't remember who did Knives Out, we love the Knives Out and the Glass Onion film. And so it does kind of have that vibe. Um, you see the murder happen. You see who does it. And then it kind of reverses and it's more about like how she 
solves it kind of gets justice. It's amazing. If anyone's watching it, let me know in the comments. I've also been watching, because I've never watched it before. Because it's just been one of them shows where I just didn't really have time to watch it when it first came out. And then it went to Netflix. And again, I still sort of didn't ever really manage to get around to watching it. Um, but Black Mirror. I'm watching it from the beginning. So obviously it was a a British show. It was on Channel 4. Like quite a few years ago, I think. But I'm really enjoying it. Um, I've watched two. No, I've not. I've definitely watched one series. I think I've watched two. Basically, the next episode was an hour and a half, and I've and you know when you're like, I don't know if, I don't want to commit. <laughs> I don't want to commit to watching an episode for that length of time, so I've kind of been putting it off. But it's really good. And it's got some like incredible stars in, like the, well even the older ones, I was like, oh, Jodie Whittaker, who is obviously Doctor Who, who was Doctor Who. Um, but then, obviously, there's in the new ones, Miley Cyrus is in it. Um, I'm sure Salma Hayek's in it. Um, the guy who was in Breaking Bad and Westworld, after the, his name's completely escaped me now. But I know that he's, I think, been in two episodes, maybe. Um... But I'm really enjoying that. And I've also been watching. I've got two episodes left, actually. Again, another show I'm not ready for it to end. But obviously Netflix is doing what it does and just cancelling things left, right and centre. Um, Titans. I'm a huge superhero fan. And that's just a brilliant, brilliant, like, superhero show. So it's a little bit yellowy green, but kind of like it, and I hope. I feel like everything's still going to contrast with the leaves. Um, Yes, that's re that's really good. We've absolutely loved Poker Face, so we're going to watch Russian Doll next because um she's just absolutely brilliant, Natasha. We've also been watching Drag Race All Stars. I don't want to say anything about it because I don't want to give any spoilers, so I'm just going to stop. <laughs> In case anyone watches it, does anybody watch it, let me know. Um, I'd love to know what you think of this week's elimination. Please send me a message on Instagram so we can discuss this further. I've forgotten how many nice colours there actually are in these black widows. Like I don't use them as much as I really should because I think when I actually use them I'm like they're definitely up there as like one of my fave pencils to be honest.
I have just used um, my light fast and luminance together properly on a page and absolutely loved them. I'm just waiting for the luminance to go on offer so I can get some open stock because I'm not buying the full set in one go because that's just silly money. I mean, it probably would save me money, but I don't mind doing it like monthly, like just buying 10 here, 10 there. It's July, so is, I wonder if anyone is taking part in Christmas in July. I think I will. I haven't... Um, I've not actually done it as a plan. It's I've, I've filmed my colouring plans this afternoon, um, as well as my setting up my July planner, and I've completely forgot about it. It's just popped into my head. I think I will do a Christmas in July page. I did last year, um, and I might do another one because I did enjoy it. I remember doing it, which sounds a bit bizarre because it's like July. Um, but is anyone else and if you are what book are you colouring in what page are you going to do let me know in the comments because you may inspire me I mean I could go like really out there and do a Christmas in July Beauty of Horror Christmas page. Why not? I'm liking these. I really was kind of, I think this is another reason why I've like put off filming this because I didn't actually think, like when you think of green colour combos, I don't know, it's, I didn't think they'd be A variety, shall I say. But actually, apart from this bit that will flatten down, I'm enjoying it. I think I'll have like a little bit of like mindless colouring because <laughs> these li the leaves are all the same on this page really. I don't need to think too much about them tonight and just do that. I have got a a mythographic whip um in cosmic spirit but i'm just on the kind of oh that's why it's i thought that felt really funny the paper was not behind it um i'm just at like the basing stage so i'm basing like the background and it's fiddly and at least this is Bit, um, <laughs> just a bit more straightforward, really. I mean, this blending's not the best, I'll be honest. It's a bit like clumsy, but I think when everything's done. Weather update it's still raining. So some nice greens. 
I mean, they're a bit neon. Turn that way, you can see it a little bit better, maybe. Um, we've just got these little. So let's see what we've used. We've used peppermint. We've used zombie. We've used green glow. We've not used leaf green yet. So we could use leaf green with. Mm. Apple. I always do like to have a bit of a mm. he'll do, I think. <laughs> I mean they're rolling little leaf flowers anyway, so and I've kind of just gone with like a similar vibe of just dark in the middle going to outside to light really for pretty much everything on this page just a simple blend And it feels quite nice green representing nature and it's obviously flowers and leaves and things. It's quite a muted green. Really. Um I'm tempted to go for this passion colour which is really yellowy. Just so there's a bit more of a contrast. No, we'll stick with apple because I won't like it if I do that and then I'll just be fuming. I'm just going to sharpen this. I feel like I've had a sort of productive colouring day this is the third video I'm filming so I'm getting a bit croaky that's why I've, I've done a lot of talking um I'm not really feeling these I feel like I need a oh actually they're quite nice they make the other ones pop I suppose I do need a darker green what colour is this Yes, I've done three videos. Um, completed the page this morning, which obviously was good. I do annoy myself though because I get to this like I always do it I'm like tired can't be bothered and then I don't colour and then I feel like I can't first colour in or film it and then I do it and I love it and I'm like I should have done that last week I annoy myself does anyone else get like that I know these are tiny, so I massively apologise if you are struggling to see what I'm doing. Um, it's just a funny old page because everything's so small.
I'd really love it as well. Obviously, if you're still watching, hi, thanks. But I'd love it if, if you've got any ideas of what you would like to see me do on the channel, just to keep it, <coughs> obviously, interesting, then please let me know in the comments, send me a message, email me. Um, because at times I do kind of think I don't know what to do or what people want to see. So definitely, definitely do. I will add it to my list. I've got some tag videos that I want to do. Kay tagged me in the memories one, I think it was. So I'm going to possibly look at doing that this week. Maybe next weekend. I feel like I've got a busy week coming up with Summer Dad 60 on Saturday while he's having a, a festival actually. He's got bands and everything on. Um and I just I've just as the oldest kind of been roped into doing a few things. Mind you they are on holiday till Friday, so I'm probably gonna escape any jobs till then. Um I may sit down and do that. Wednesday whips. Do people want them? Will we just do a, whatever I'm working on and have a chat? There we go. Flowers are done. I just need to do these two in the middle. Which obviously we are going to believe because that's the hint as to what is coming next. Um, zoom you out so I can see the blues. I love this blue moon in the monarch and feel like it goes quite well with pleasant blue. I feel like I've written wrong and that's not what it should be called. I wonder what it is actually called pleasant blue. So we'll go for pleasant blue. What did I say? Starry Night, which is a Black Widow. The Zephyr Blue is quite nice too, actually. That's weird, it looks purple. I'm just gonna sharpen it. Oh, big, huge pigeon. Outside the window. You're not coming in. Zoom us back in for a second. I do you find these? White crumbly. Which really they they are cheap pencils, aren't they? So the I mean they're not when you buy them all, but in comparison, the it'd be like the binding one, it the bind the binder. I don't know. I know what I mean. The stuff that's in between the big print. I do love them. <sighs> so now we've got two random blue flowers in the middle there, but we know what they're for. to hint at what's to come next. So hopefully at some point this week I will sit down and film the blue section of our flowers. Tonight I'm going to work on chipping away at these leaves because there's absolutely hundreds of them um, and these backgrounds. I quite enjoy doing the backgrounds, don't really have to think about it. It's one pencil and a white and they look quite nice when they're done. 
but we're slowly but surely getting there. Um, I hope you are still enjoying this. Next, we are looking at our blue um, square. Hopefully, more will be done when you see it next. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you're coloring along with me, I'd love to see. Send me a picture on Instagram. Um, but as always, thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for always watching, commenting, and just generally being incredibly lovely people. I'll see you all in the next one. Adios. Thank you.